So let's talk about Letha for a minute or two, shall we? According to folklore, do you know what that means? Folklore? Well, the easiest way to tell you what it means is that it's a lore or stories and customs of a certain people. Usually these are stories or customs which are not really written down but have been handed down from one generation to the next. Just because something isn't written down doesn't mean it doesn't make sense or that it's not a good idea. Sometimes there's a lot of wisdom in folklore and sometimes it can be a little strange. An example of a strange story involving folklore would be the story of a man who noticed that his man, that his wife always cut off the ends of a ham before she baked it. One day he asked her why she did that and she said it was because her mother always did it that way. So the man asked his wife's mother why she cut the ends of a ham off before she baked it. She said it was because her mother had always done it that way. In the end, the reason why all these women were cutting off the ends of the ham was because the great-great-grandmother's own oven was too small to fit the whole ham in it. <laughs> Sometimes that's exactly the way that customs start because of a, of a very good reason. And then the children do the same things uh, as their parents did and their children do the same things even when it's not necessary anymore. So let's back up to Letha again. Once upon a time ago, most people only really recognized two seasons, summer and winter. Summer would begin around Beltane, which is the beginning of May, and would last until the first part of August, which is Manasa. And that is why you often hear Letha called Midsummer, because it's in the middle of summer. That whole half of the year is summer, if you're only counting two seasons. Of course, most of us celebrate four seasons now, spring, summer, fall, and winter. But customs and traditions are often carried forward no matter how things change, like those hams. So you will still hear people call Letha by the name of Midsummer. Even though we now recognize Letha as the first day of summer on our modern calendar. It can be confusing, but at least now you may understand why some people say that Letha is the first day of summer and some people say that it is midsummer. No matter what else you may call Letha, we all celebrate the summer solstice on that day, which is the longest day of the year. What's funny though is that starting the very next day, the days begin to get shorter and shorter <laughs> because the earth is moving in its orbit further and further away from the sun until the day and night are equal at the autumn equinox, which is Maybon. People celebrate this holiday, Letha, in many different ways. Some pagans recharge their ritual tools at this very powerful time of the year. Others make sure to celebrate the men in their lives and the male deities they serve. Some will bless their gardens. However you choose to celebrate this turning of the wheel of the year is up to you, of course. It's also a good time to take out your Rupert's Tales book and read about Rupert's adventures here too. It's summertime and most of you are out of school for a while. For me, summer means growing a lot of fruits and vegetables in my gardens. I'd say we're both pretty thankful for the summertime and for the chance to enjoy the sun. So how about if we sing a song together to celebrate Letha? Come on! <laughs> 